subscribers. Hey, um, I want the Goodwill store, and I found this new game. It's called Cut the Wire. And that there's a bomb, and, well, you diffuse or lose. You see that? Diffuse or lose. And, uh, yeah, Cut the Wire. It's $9.99. Lots of fun. Loads of fun. Uh, which wire will diffuse it? We found this toy out here, and if you can check this out, it's called Cut the Wire. You think it lighting's good? Yeah, I think it's right. It's good lighting. Lighting. Put some light on that, baby. This is a kid's toy. It's for kids six and up. It's called Cut the Wire. And what it is is uh, about nine sticks of plastic dynamite. It's got a timer on it, and then it's got wire. And it says, Cut the Right Wire or You Expire. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? Uh, it's real open up. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's take a peek at it. Cut the right one or you won't have fun. This is a children's toy. It was marketed and sold at Target. And uh, I, I just they had a few of them there at the Goodwill place. I think it's on that one. You know, pro or con, it could lead a youngster into becoming, like, say, a, a bomb expert, a TSA agent and a bomb expert. <laughs> you know, it could lead him into a good career. Could, but I think it's a little overboard. How about you just get a big question mark? Run or it's still going? Well, we'll edit that. Yeah, out. yeah, we can edit yeah. whatever we want. Yeah. Now, if we blow up, we're gonna fuck. You do realize that? <laughs> yeah, that's a good suit. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that dude is practical joke. It's gone too far. <laughs> practical joke. Yeah. <laughs> You know, if you sent that through the mail to somebody, I wonder, there'd be some old people and stuff that'd take a look at this and go, oh, oh, oh. oh I'm sure. Yeah. Well, when I went to Germany, you get a when I went to Germany, I brought my mom back a, uh, a grandfather clock. Yeah. And they almost wouldn't let me bring it back because they saw the wires or whatever in the inside yeah. and the springs. And they wanted me to put it, to make it work. She said, she didn't speak that good English. She says, make it work. It I said, be, uh, make it's a oh, cook. Wow. So I ain't got time, man. Uh, Uncle Sam is calling my name to get on this airplane. Wow. And he don't want me putting no clock together for you. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I brought back from Jamaica one of your con shells. You know, oh, con yeah. Oh, yeah. Those are cool. But I didn't clean them. And I put them in a bag. I put them in my seat, shit. Oh, no. And when they found them, ooh, they opened them up and around. They smelled like death. I had no idea they'd stink like that. Because they, they were dead. They were dead. Yeah. And by the time we got back to... Uh, Minneapolis. Oh, God, people were <laughs> Ralphin, I got in trouble. They really tried to get me in trouble. What'd you do, man? I that. said, I thought you could bring them on the plane. I just wrapped them up in this plastic garbage bag and I figured I'd clean them when I got them home. Yeah. Or she opened that bucket up. <laughs> <laughs> I had about six of them. The grease and grease that was still inside of it. And stink. <laughs> oh, <dude. laughs> oh, that's crazy, man. Yeah, it wasn't a good thing. They got pissed. Yeah, I bet. And I didn't get my conscience either. They took it. Didn't they? Oh, damn. Yeah, man, man then what do you think they did with it? They ran. I'm going to be a bomb diffuser when I grow up. Hey, Dad. That's a real job. What do you do, son? I diffuse bombs. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> all right, so. Did you hold, hold, I think hold the bomb, maybe. Here. Once you start, once you switch on the device, you may hear an alarm sound and the red lights on the device will start blinking. That's what we're hearing. Okay. If this happens, make sure each colored wire is connected well to a black wire. Okay, so that's what we got to do. <laughs> so it's not connected. That's the thing. Oh, okay. So each colored wire is connected well. So this is the... Uh, so you roll the dice and it says cut a wire. See, there's so many rules. I mean... Who knows, man? <laughs> he cut a good one, I believe. Yeah. Okay, so here's a question, though, Chuck. What, what do you, years ago, do you think, I mean, you know, because you hear stories about old farmers and stuff who would have dynamite readily oh, accessible yeah. to use for here and there. Oh, yeah, I mean, so, here. so. What do you do? You think timing and the society that we live in has anything to do with that? I mean, what if this would have come out in, in the '80s or the '70s or whatever? Well, the problem with this is that if there's anybody out there that has old dynamite, old dynamite is very volatile. 
if a kid gets a hold of old dynamite and flips it up in the air and hits the ground, it can go out. Oh, yeah, they sweat nitro. They sweat nitro, yeah. And so that would be a bad. I don't know, I guess, you know. But just, you know, just so, you know, like, how, how does society reflect on that? Do you think that it's changed? Like, if you would have saw something this years ago, before all the political correctness and you know, before all the school stuff was going on, do you think it, you would never... But, uh, yeah, I don't know. We had BB guns when I was kids. In fact, we used to take guns to school for... Yeah, we well, could do the, um, gun training. Getting the bus driver or whatever, and then gun take the locker, or take the, the principal's office or something. Sure. Yeah, we keep running the locker. Yeah. Back in the seventies or uh, mid seventies and stuff, and then you'd have gun training at uh, at the end of school. It wasn't. You always were seeing kids going down to the river with a twenty-two to go squirrel hunting. Mm -hmm. and Jess and them go down there to go duck hunting and stuff on a bicycle with a gun. Yeah, 14 or 20 gauge yeah, or something. Yeah, nowadays, I'll tell you what, if you see a kid going down the street with a gun on the back of a bicycle, I don't think it's going to happen. See, they, they were just doing away with that when I started in the junior high, the whole thing where you couldn't bring your guns to school anymore because sometimes we'd go bird hunting after school, yeah, yeah. you know? And then they, they said, no, nah, we used to be able to do that, but they don't do that anymore. So that was right, you know, early 90s or sure, 93 or something. Correct, but I think there's still schools like in Nebraska that have trap shooting competition. I believe some of them probably still let their students, smaller ones maybe, bring them to school. I don't think every school was. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I think everybody should be born with a gun. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, cut it. yeah right there in the middle. <gasps> All right. <laughs> I just blew this up. I just blew this up. You believe it? The first one, that's my luck. The first wire I cut in Calvary. There's one left. Oh! That's it. I don't know. What do you think, folks? Is this a ch children's toy? Should this toy be marketed? It was a $30 toy. Actually, 30 bucks for this thing. Speak of, though, it complies with Part 15 of the FCC rules. This is admitting a frequency signal, F15, or FCC the 15, and that's the same ones that the kids walkie-talkies and everything are on. So where does that emit that to? Oh, I'll bet the new 5G network will pick this up very nicely. Well, after sleeping on this last night, thinking about it a while, as far as the children's toy, I am going to stay neutral on this. How about you? What do you think? Yeah, I'm neutral, man. I mean, if, if they want to make it and people want to buy it, that's on them. That's what I'm saying, yeah. And uh, it's a little over the top, I guess, but I did notice something last night, and I just pointed it out to him, and he caught it, too. We've got three children on the back, and I'm going to get up and closer. And... We've got the little girl here who's really excited about being alive because her brother is intently taking this bomb down and saving her. But we got the little brother back here. And if you take a look at this kid, I think this kid can swing either way. Um, I got a bad feeling about that one. How about you? Yeah, he, he, he looks a little suspect. He looks a little suspect. He could be either a bomb undoer or a bomb builder. <laughs> I would... Uh, I'd say more, I'd lean more towards the boom boom room for him. He's really excited about that shit. He can't wait for that fucking thing to go off, you know? Yeah. Yeah, or build one too, you know? Now, look, so, so even though I'm neutral on the idea of buying and selling, I do, I do, I do think it's an interesting toy, and I would have liked to have heard their, uh, the rationale behind the development and the, um, maybe the age category at which they were targeting I, that. <laughs> Heck of a game, defuse game. or lose. Yeah. Only at Target, Target. All right, so, I wanna say it was real, uh, it was real fun working with Chug. I met Chug a few years ago, a couple years ago. Um, through a neighbor, you know, guy's been around here his whole life, and uh, got introduced to him, got on the subject of music and motorcycles, and that's about all it took. So, uh, yeah, um, you know, we, we got together to do some music, uh, wound up going to Goodwill, and then 
and then found this thing in the aisle and then, you know, started shooting the video on it or whatever. And then uh, got to talking more on the idea about, you know, maybe doing, like, expanding on the video. We just did a, sh you know, just a short one while we were there. And then uh, we thought, man, why don't we just make this a little, a little longer? And, and we kept doing that. And that was, I added some sound effects to it. And, you know, it was, it was a good time. But uh, all in all, what'd you guys think of, uh, well, what'd you think of the video? What'd you think of Chuck? Man, we guys, did you, were you entertained? Are you not entertained? <laughs> I'm not necessarily trying to entertain you per se, but it's kind of a funny video. There's nothing wrong with big humor. Um, it is interesting that we come across this toy uh, just in the day and age that we live in, you know, uh, with all the political talk about violence and guns and all the things that are going on in the schools. It's kind of interesting uh, to see a toy like that, especially being sold at Target. Like if you do a little history on Target, you'll discover that uh, you know they they've got some political views, you know, and they have the right to have that. I don't know. That's it. You know. Uh, again, I want to thank Chug for being a part um, of uh, of what I'm doing. Uh, he's a great musician. He's hilarious to talk to. He's got some great stories. He's got some wisdom and insight. Well, one man's scars is another man's medicine. You can learn from the scars of another man uh, without having to get your own scars. You can learn from his. So, uh, yeah, again, so thanks to Chug. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, please leave your comments or whatever on the toy or whatever whatever else you want to. You got freedom of speech just like I do, so feel free to utilize it. Until um, then, take care of yourself.